Somebody is up earlier than you. Somebody is out there working harder than you. It doesn't matter. Somebody out there got four hours of sleep and they're out there working harder than you are every single day. Somebody woke up at four in the morning while you're sleeping until 10. And yet somehow they still managed to go out there and do more than you're doing. And somehow you managed to wake up at 10 o'clock and you're still tired. You still say you're tired. When will you learn? When will you learn? That your actions have consequences. When will you learn that when you decide to stay up all night and you wake up hungover, that those actions have consequences. Today we're gonna to be telling you how to defeat exhaustion. Stay tuned. First way that you can defeat exhaustion is changing your fucking diet. A lot of people out there pull into that McDonald's drive-thru, pull into that Wendy's drive-thru. I said, no, your fat ass cannot get that. Every single day after work, they get off work, they work their nine to five, whatever fucking time it is, or maybe you're working until 11 o'clock and you pull right into that fucking drive-thru. So you can't get that, you said? And you get the cheap, lose weight, easy food that makes you feel like sh that is why when you wake up, you feel like sh or you feel like sh after work. That time after you get off work, you sleep six to eight hours a day on average. And then you work for what, eight hours? Yeah, right, that's what it used to be. You now work for nine to 10 hours a day. That is the new average. That leaves you with six hours after work to do everything you have to do. And what do people do? They go and they get fast food and they feel like sh and they do nothing. You have six hours to tackle your goals, tackle your dreams, tackle all the things you wanna do and create the life that you want to have. And if you're not doing it, there's somebody else out there after they get off work, they're growing a business, they're growing a social media presence. You are going and getting fast food and you feel like fucking shit and you go home and you take an hour nap. You take two hours. What are you doing? If you say that you're tired or you feel tired, that needs to change. You sleep enough. You need to get after it. You only have this one life. You're going to go through the rest of your life saying you're fucking tired, taking naps every single day. When are you going to get after it? Right now, time is running out. And don't lie to yourself. A lot of times people are drowsy, they're sleepy all day, and they're eating McDonald's or eating bullshit. Ask yourself this question. What are you fueling up with, right? Food is fuel. Here in America, right? Food is, is pleasure. It's just dopamine. Give me food. But that's not what it's supposed to be. Ask yourself that question. What am I fueling myself with? Imagine you're trying to grow a plant here every once a day, you just toss a couple of drops of bleach on it. Staying up late, you're drinking. That's the same thing. Tossing some bleach or putting the diesel in the Ferrari. You can't put diesel in a Ferrari. And number two is going to be using too much technology and scrolling. Social media, Instagram. You wake up and you hop on TikTok. 30 minutes go by. You now realize you've been down scrolling for 60 minutes. For a human being, that is no way to start your day. It's no way to start your day. Because if you're starting a day like that, then you're a loser. But I promise you guys, if you start to pay attention to this, if you check your screen time and you're on for six hours a day, the body's meant to move around, to socialize, to be around people, to eat, to get in the sun, which might lead us on a foreshadow to our next point. We're not meant to be on our phones. That's stupid. It's time wasting time. Unless you're networking, you're communicating with somebody else, you're making something happen where you're watching our videos, then you're probably wasting your time. But we're wasting too much time right now because we got shit to do. So on to number three. Number three, lack of sunlight and fresh air. Why are you tired all the time? Why do you always feel exhausted? Because you don't go out, you don't get outside enough. You go and you work your job. You go home, you sit inside watching TV, watching Netflix. Get outside, get some fresh air, get some sunlight. You need the vitamin D. It makes you stay healthy. We were made to live outside. We lived outside for hundreds of millions of years. So why the hell are you always inside? You need sunlight. The sunlight and fresh air is essential. It helps you regulate your circumstances circadian rhythms so that you know when to go to sleep, you know when to wake up, and it helps your body get the value that it needs from the sun, from the fresh air, because those help your body wind down. You're sitting inside artificial light that you keep on until midnight, and then you turn it off, looking at your phone like we talked about, with artificial light. Your eyes don't realize that the sun's going down. The same as the temperature. When the sun is up, it's warmer out. When the sun goes down, it gets colder. It doesn't matter if it's winter or if it's summer. When the temperature goes from being, let's say, 100 degrees down to 70, or 40 to 20, your body realizes that it has gotten colder and your body gets more tired. Your body understands, okay, it's getting colder. That means the sun is down. You see the sun down. It's gotten dark and you're not taking artificial light. So your body knows it's time to go to bed. It's how it's supposed to be. It's important. Get fresh air, get outside, get sunlight. And you won't be tired every day. Get the out there and get after it. Number four, the fourth reason on why you always say that you're tired, why you always feel exhausted is because you have a negative mindset, because you tell yourself you're tired. You tell yourself you're exhausted. Being tired is a thing. Like when I go to work, people say they're tired all the time because they want other people yeah. to feel bad for them. But guess what? Nobody cares, right? Nobody cares. Shout out to the dude who does that short. How you expect people to take it when you say you're tired. I barely got any sleep last night. <gasps> and he was still here on 
on time. People have this perception that when you say, man, I'm tired, the people are gonna be like, oh man, what happened? Why'd you stay up so late? Oh, and you're still here at work? You're such a good worker, you still showed up? Nobody cares. Right, that's Nobody not cares. gonna happen. Nobody cares, they're seeking for attention. And you're a loser. Okay, close your eyes and think for a sec. Picture that negative Nancy guy, the guy who's always talking shit. Does he have lots of energy? Is he is he up and at it and moving around? Or is he sitting down, moving slowly, talking slowly? Dudes that are like energetic on it. I wanna say, I'm a happy guy. Happy guy, you know, we're happy dudes. Dudes that are positive, energetic, they're gonna outperform the negative Nancys. Because the guys that have energy and that are happy moving around, they're gonna get much more done than the guy who's negative, tired. When I think of a negative person, I just think tired, sleepy, lazy. Yeah. That's what I think. Because the positive person, no matter how tired they are, they don't need to and say, it. That's the thing. Yeah, yeah, you might be tired some days. You might be exhausted and there are ways to defeat it, but there's going to be days you wake up and you're tired. You wake up and you're exhausted. Maybe you only slept four hours because you're out there getting after it. You're up late, not because you were partying, not because you were drinking, because you were working on your business 80 hours a week to feed your family, whatever it is. If you're out there hustling and getting after it, you might only get four hours of sleep. You wake up and you're tired. You are tired, but you don't say it. You don't tell anybody you're tired. You don't act tired. Everybody around you has no idea that you're tired. Like we're talking about in this video, there's ways to defeat exhaustion, but those days that you are exhausted, you don't go and just take a nap just because. You don't go around telling people because they don't care. Yeah. They don't care. And when you say it, like everyone says, you manifest your life. If you tell yourself you're tired, if you tell other people you're tired, you're only going to be more tired. I love that, man. The mind is so strong. We mentioned before one of the earlier podcasts, we used to work at a warehouse together. And one of the girls asked me, how are you always have so much energy? How are you so energetic? It's like, you think I wake up every single day just, yeah, yeah. It's like, no, but I have, I've owned businesses. We have stuff to do. I have to do things. So I'm not going to wake up and say, oh crap. What was your answer? His answer was great. I choose to be because I choose to be. It's not like I'm going to wake up. There will be days where you get four hours of sleep. You wake up and you are tired, but you can't go back to sleep because you have things to do. And the guys that are going to be negative Nancy's, oh, I'm so tired. I'm moping. They will never beat the guy that wakes up still tired, puts a smile on his face, gets his shoulders broad and goes to work. And Those nobody guys, knows. And nobody knows. Literally. I mean, I think that girl asked me that. And of course I'm tired. I'm slumped as hell, but I said, well, I just choose to be. I choose to have energy. I love how you brought that up. Your brain is so strong. If you tell yourself constantly, I can do it. I got this. I'm strong. Your brain is going to believe that. Just like the whole thing about high-fiving yourself in the mirror and smiling. Your brain says, oh, shit. I like this person. And then you start to feel better about yourself. The same goes for that, guys. It's all in the mindset. That's like one of the biggest things we talk about on Thrive. If this is your first video watching, please subscribe and like. We make great videos like this. Business, fitness, finance. Check out the Patreon down in the description. We have great value for you where we will teach you how to grow your business from $0 to $10,000 with our weekly business advice every single week. We both, of course, have businesses that do that and that make that kind of money. We're not just young kids flubbering, but we are young go-getters. And number five, guys, lack of quality sleep, okay? A lot of people think that they need more sleep, more sleep. Okay, you can get by on six hours. You can get by on four hours some nights if you have quality sleep. And what does that mean? That means you put your phone down a half hour before you go to bed. You're not sitting on your phone late at night with your lights off. That hurts your eyes. That's not quality sleep. You don't put earbuds in your ear and listen to music to help you fall asleep. I know a lot of people have problems with falling asleep. If you put music in your ears, your brain is analyzing that all night. You're not gonna wake up feeling refreshed. You're, you're not going to. To. Your brain cannot just be actively listening to music, actively listening to people talk. There's a time and a place maybe when you want to do that because your brain is processing if you're listening to useful information. But most of the time, if your brain is processing all that information at night, you do not want sound. You don't want background music. You don't. You do not want to listen to a video while you fall asleep. You don't want that. You need quality sleep. And the only way to get quality sleep is to go to bed at the same time and wake up at the same time. Be on a schedule to get that fresh air and sunlight so that your body is ready to go to sleep and to not be on your phone past a certain time. When you turn the light off, no more lights, okay? If you're gonna be on your phone at 10.30, you leave the light on until 10.31. You don't turn your light off and go on your phone. As soon as that light goes off in your room, that phone goes off and you don't look at it until you wake up the next morning. That is how you get quality sleep. That is how people go to bed at 11 o'clock at night and wake up at 5 a.m. and sleep six hours and they still feel refreshed. They're not tired. Now, it is up to you, my friend, to take advantage of these five steps to defeat exhaustion. Once again, we really appreciate you watching the video. Leave a like, leave a subscribe, it really fires us up. We're going to be at a thousand subscribers soon. Thanks to you wonderful people. Continue watching all of our videos because we have great information for you. We really appreciate it and we hope that you guys have a great rest of your day. Come on, man.